So, hello everyone. Um, I know I have spent a while since I've posted on here. I've had a lot going on in my life. Um, I've been going to church lately. I've got baptized. Me and my daughter have. We have fully accepted Christ in our lives again. And I'm walking with my faith, okay? So, but I wanted to get on here and to share some things with you guys about addiction. Okay, about what the neuro, like what drugs does to your neuro, 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 neurotransmitters, excuse me. Um, got a little toothache and just a little nervous, okay? And I know you hear my kids in the background. Can't happen. They're here. Alright, so it says neurotransmitters are naturally occurring chemicals in the brain that carry messages between special cells called neurons which make up nerves, which we know this. There are several, several different kinds of neurotransmitters. They carry different kinds of messages and they work with different nerve systems that are vital for feeling, thinking, and behavior. The levels of neurotransmitters can be too high, too low, and in balance. When there is a natural balance of neurotransmitters in the brain, people usually feel neither depressed nor anxious. Rather, they feel alert and normal with sufficient energy. When neurotransmitters levels are lower than normal, also called depleted, people may feel depressed and sad and they have no energy. They just feel bad. When certain neurotransmitter levels are somewhat higher than normal, People may experience increased energy and self-confidence and even euphoria. They feel good. However, when certain neuro neurotransmitters levels are very high or remain high for a long period of time, people may feel anxious, agitated, and irritable, and they may become violent and paranoid, and they may hallucinate. So that's kind of crazy, isn't it? To know that... Yeah, you, 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 when you use, it releases so many neurotransmitters in your brain that it overdoes itself, and that's what, that's how it affects your brain like that. Like I knew it affected my brain to a point, but I didn't realize just to the extent that it was affecting my brain. And I'm pretty sure that now, even though three and a half years clean, I know that I'm still having issues with my neurotransmitters not being right like they're still not level um and i i'm hoping that over time they will still you know readjust themselves i know they're better than they were a year ago and they're better than they were two years ago so i know that the brain is an amazing organ of the body and it can regrow itself to a point can anyway and plus with jesus on my side anything is possible okay I pray, I pray, I pray. Praise Jesus for everything. Alright, so neurotransmitter balances can be upset by a variety of factors. They can include events that involve high levels of stress, physical pain, and a lack of sleep and food. These may take may make people experience anxiety, depression, or confusion. On the other hand, some events make people feel good, such as winning the lottery, making a, a touchdown, or having sex. So, that's all we're going to talk about that right for right now and in the next video I'm going to share about drugs abuse and your neurotransmitters hope everybody has a blessed day and please follow and watch my next video for more for more information on recovery and addiction stuff I'm going to be posting a lot of stuff here like here pretty soon about recovery and how your brain works and different things about that because I want to share and if I can help one person overcome addiction help help one one person walk this walk of, of recovery with them I am so ready to help someone like it's part of paying it forward and I hope everyone has a blessed day